Hello, I'm James Pringle, the engineering team lead at PMA. Today I'm going to give a fast tour of ODK Central as someone with the project manager role. We will discuss how to change languages, the difference between web users and app users, and the form progression from draft to published. This is the landing page on ODK Central after logging in. You can see I am James DM, and at the bottom is a list of projects that I have been assigned to. One thing to note is that there is a language menu and I can change to any of these languages including French. This changes the user interface to French so that all the help messages can be shown in French. One thing to understand about ODK Central is the difference between web users and app users. A web user is a user for the web interface only, while an app user, on the other hand, are users for a client, such as ODK Collect. A web user can be assigned various roles and be assigned to various projects. These are the project roles on the project roles tab, and you can see the web user James DM is assigned as a project manager on this project. An app user is project specific and it is easy to create and remove. An app user can be created for a specific individuals such as George Washington or a class of individuals such as data collector or enumerator. Once an app user is created, ODK Central provides a QR code to configure a client like ODK Collect to access this project as this user. This is the managed QR code, while this is the legacy QR code. Within a project, we can add a form by clicking this button and then uploading an Excel file or an XML file. When it is first uploaded, it is uploaded as a draft. And we see a draft checklist. These are things that are suggested to do before publishing a draft. And once a, dr a form is published, it is ready for data collection. While in test mode, we can configure a client using this QR code so that the client will only be able to access this draft. We can view a preview in Enketo. We can upload a new definition if we want to change things or Finally, publish the draft or abandon the draft. Once a draft is published, it is ready for data collection. And X days test is a published form. Here's the checklist here. Once it's published, next step is to download it and then submit forms. We can see various tabs, the version history, the submissions, I can download the data using this button here. And this zip file has all the data. Public access links and form settings. One important thing to to remember is that form access is controlled on this tab from the project page. We see random tester is a draft while X days test is a published form and we need to check the boxes for all the app users that should have access. One other thing to note on this page is that forms have different states, open, closing, and closed. They're described at this menu. ODK Central has a lot of useful information in the interface. Try reading what is on the page or clicking links to get more information about what you want to do.